Choppy. And my son, Winter, with me. Say hello, Winter. No? Not today? Okay, well. That's my son, Winter. Nanny is over here. Wandering around. Huh. Yeah. It's just been a... Uh, a bad day, I guess. It's pretty rainy outside. It's really cold, but to the questions and answers. Um, first question I got was, where'd I get Nanu? What breeder and all? Um, I asked her before I did this video if I could put her name out, but um, so I could put her first name out. She just doesn't want her last name out yet because she doesn't have puppies right now and I guess a lot of people are asking for puppies from her now but they have to wait until after summer for her next Great Pyrenees to be in heat again so yeah <laughs> but yeah where I got Nanook was in Washington that was pretty much a five hour drive there and five hour drive back so it's a very long drive for us, especially for this little guy because he was only like, I think three, four months, four months old. He's not very good in cars yet, so that was a very difficult drive for all three of us. <laughs> but yeah, we got there. It was really rainy and hailey and I didn't have Wi-Fi, so... It was really hard to get contact with her, letting her know where we were at and how far. But her name's Katie and anyway, sorry, I got distracted. Anyways, yeah, her name's Katie. Um, I got him when he was nine weeks old. But was gonna get him at eight weeks but um I heard that you're not supposed to get him at eight weeks with Great Pyrenees but I don't know it could be different from other breeds but um I was gonna get him at eight weeks and we were like just leaving our house and we were an hour away from our house and then she texted and tried to call me and I answered and she said hey did you get in my text and I was like no, I did not. Why? What's up? And she's like, I have no idea why and why today, but Nanook and the father are gone. They're missing. And I was like, what? So she told me to not drive any more further than what we did. And so we turned around and I was like constantly thinking in my head like, oh my God. It's like a blizzard out there in Washington right now. And of course, Dad and Nanook are all white, so it's going to be a little more difficult to find them. So, they were looking all day and all night for them that day, and I kept texting her like, Hey, did you find them yet? How's Nanook? And she told me there's nothing yet. So... The next day, I texted her again. I was like, hey, did you guys find him yet? And she's like, we're out now actually looking for him. And they got home and behold, they're both out there sitting in the driveway. But yeah, it was a pretty terrifying night for all of us. Especially me because, you know, I wanted Nanny to be safe and I was worried about him. So, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he is a Great Pyrenees and Alaskan Husky, so he's 75% Great Pyrenees and 25% Alaskan Husky. So I heard from other service dog groups that, oh, that shouldn't be a good breed because he's a mix and Great Pyrenees are guard dogs and they're stubborn and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, okay, well, you know. 
I'm used to stubborn dogs. You know, I used to have huskies when I was younger in a lab. So, you know, of course our lab was aggressive toward other dogs. So I had to make sure there wasn't any dogs around when I took them out for a walk. And Alaskan Huskies, I know they're a mixture of other dogs like Greyhounds and, you know, Malamutes, depending on what they want them as sled dogs, because they're sled dogs. So, I'm not sure what mixture his mom is. All I know is she's a Alaskan Husky, so I might do that um, Embark DNA test for him, just so I can see what other breeds are in him. I mean, he's really amazing. He's a fast learner, and he focuses really well. He's he's a really amazing mixed breed, but I really love him. So, <laughs> um, the other question was, uh, what was it? Oh, um, will Nanu be able to detect? my diabetes when I'm on insulin and um, I'm pretty sure you can right now I don't have I'm not on insulin I'm they want me to do the uh, the diet way first to where I like control my diet and all but I can tell that that's not working out for me <laughs> so I will probably have to go on insulin which I'm sure I'll get used to it sooner, but sooner or later, but, um, I do not like needles, but hopefully I don't have to see the needle when I stick it into my thigh or my stomach, wherever I, probably mostly my thigh, hopefully, because I have feeling if you put it in your stomach, it probably hurts a little bit more, but I'm not sure. This is my first time having diabetes, so <laughs> I'm a little bit new on it, so, uh, yeah, um, I'm pretty sure you probably will, but, you know, I can always ask other people on service that group about it, see if they know, because right now I'm just teaching him about my low and high blood pressure and stuff, which he knows already, you just, you know, just can keep practicing, <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, the other question was, um, I'm sorry, but I forgot what it was. It was something about my lifestyle, like my fashion and stuff. If it gets in the way or something like that. I'm sorry. I totally forgot what it was. I meant to write them down and make sure I had the correct ones. But if I messed up, just let me know. You know who you are. <laughs> so yeah. Um... Uh, when I'm out in public with Nanook and I'm just like this, kind of, you know, some days I'm not, some days, you know, I'm, you know, in a lazy mood or whatever, and I just put whatever on, but I'm usually dressed like this, with my makeup and nails and piercings, obviously, but, um... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm like spacing out. I didn't get much sleep last night, so I'm pretty tired. Um, uh, when we're on public, I don't really get a lot of looks. I mean, everyone here in Oregon minds their own business. And sometimes, you know, obviously my fiance, he dresses up too, but, um, you know, Mostly people mind their own business, you know, hey, we get stopped every once in a while saying, oh, hey, I like your hair, or I like your jacket, or your fashion, or whatever, or, oh, look, I like your dog's, um, pink, or pink or purple tail and ears, you know, compliments like that. I'm okay with that, because, you know, it's not like they're asking about my disabilities, like, oh, wow, you know, 
You don't look like you got disabilities. What are they? If you have them. It's like... Excuse me? Yeah, my disabilities are invisible. Not all disabilities are shown. Like mine. <laughs> um... But yeah, we get stopped over once in a while. Not like every day often because we go out every day doing stuff because we're always going out because we have a lot of stuff to do, especially since we're moving. So, which is in Washington, which I'm pretty excited. I've never been to Washington except for the little borderline of Washington we went to to get Nanu, which was really gorgeous. It was like, I can't remember what it's called, but we went by this waterfall. And it was pretty, it was like, oh my gosh, pretty, but huge line just to go see this waterfall. And we were going to go dip, but then we saw the line, so we're like, ah, uh, maybe another day. So, yeah. <gasps> what? He's trying to get my attention. Are you trying to get my attention, little man? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, that's why. I'm sorry. You flung your toy over there. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Being a mom of three. But yeah. Probably tell that another day. <laughs> um. But yeah, we do get compliments and stuff, you know. Just because this is our fashion. I've always dressed like this since I was like in middle school, so <laughs> yeah. I don't get a lot of compliments or looks or anything, so um, it's nice actually, because you know a lot of people, you know, a lot of people don't dress like this here in Oregon where I'm at. And I'm pretty sure there's not a whole lot of people in Washington that do, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah. Um. Even with me dying Nanook's tail and ears, which I know I get hate for it on some places on the internet. Even though it's pet safe and vegan and, you know, like Arctic Fox, Manic Panic. Um. What's the other one? Opaz. Um. I can't remember the other one. It's another safe dog one. But, you know. Make sure that you say, you know. It's like. My second time dying him. <coughs> but, yeah. His ears and tail are still attached. They have not fallen off. So, all the people that hate. Dogs being died can just go fuck off. <laughs> Sorry, but this is my channel and my Facebook page. So if you don't like that cuss and stuff, you're more welcome to get off my page. Because it's going to happen. Okay? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> So, um, that's all the questions I got was like three, but if you guys have any more questions, just let me know in the comments down below. Okay. <laughs> I could do whatever tutorials or whatever, you know, training tutorials, anything that you guys want. Okay. <laughs> so me, <clears throat> Winter, and... Nanook, where he's on the air side, chewing on his bone. Um, we will say good day and have a good evening or afternoon, whatever time it is at your state. <laughs> and we will talk to you guys soon. Okay? Bye!